So, a few years ago, I came to Lithuania from Canada. From time to time, my friends back in Canada would ask, How's life in Latvia? Things in Lithuania are great, I would say in response. I'm sure I'm not the first person to face this confusion, and I'm also sure that I won't be the last. For these well-meaning people who know next to nothing about the region, I'm 99% sure that the confusion comes from the fact that both countries begin with L and end with A. I would be incredibly impressed if the confusion stem from the other similarities the two countries have with each other, because there are quite a few of them. Well, in today's video, I want to examine why Lithuania and Latvia are so close with each other, because even though Estonia is one of the Baltic countries, it's socially closer to Finland than it is to Latvia. So let's get started. Geographically, modern-day Lithuania and Latvia are neighbors and share a land border of almost 600 kilometers. A lot of the friendliness between these two countries does in fact stem from them being neighbors. But as we see in many other parts of the world, being neighbors doesn't necessarily mean good relations. But for Lithuania and Latvia, it's this close geography that explains their shared history and culture. Both the languages of Latvian and Lithuanian have the same Indo-European roots and are both classified as Baltic languages. With the extinction of Western Baltic languages, Lithuanian and Latvian are the only two surviving languages from the Baltic branch. According to musgo.com, of the two languages, Lithuanian is the more conservative, having retained more archaic grammatical forms than Latvian, especially in its sound system and noun morphology. These features have been found only in extinct Indo-European languages. This would be one explanation for why Latvia is closer to Lithuania than it is to its northern neighbor Estonia which itself has a completely different language with completely different origins. It would also explain why Estonia is closer to Finland, as their languages have the same roots. I think it's mainly this shared linguistic history makes the YouTube channel Geography Now label Latvia and Lithuania as creepy twins that want to have Estonia play with them. From my perspective as a foreigner, it does feel kind of accurate, but I would love to hear from Latvians, Lithuanians, and Estonians about this. I would also love to hear from Latvians and Estonians on how similar your languages are and how well you can understand each other. Leave a comment and let us know. But moving on, the two countries have shared so much history with each other in recent centuries. If we go back a few hundred years, the land of modern-day Latvia and Lithuania were together part of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania and the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth between 1561 and 1772. Over the past two centuries, Lithuania and Latvia have shared the same struggles for independence from the same empires. Both countries declared independence from German occupation in 1918 and also did the same against Soviet occupation in 1990. This is, of course, a very, very short summary and doesn't include Estonia, which experienced similar struggles as well. Since both countries gained independence from the Soviet Union, they progressed in similar trajectories. Both countries joined the NATO military alliance on the same day in March 2004, and they also both became neighbors of the European Union on the same day, just over a month later. These days, the fear of a common enemy with Vladimir Putin is probably a major force keeping the two countries united and cooperative with each other, especially militarily. So with everything mentioned so far, hopefully it makes sense why Latvia and Lithuania might be considered by some to be creepy twins. Their similar language and culture, combined with shared struggles and a highly integrated economy, make these two nations very close siblings. And we haven't even mentioned their shared love of potatoes. Of course, Germans and Poles also love potatoes, so maybe it wouldn't be fair to list it anyways. But being a relatively young foreigner, I'm almost certain that I've missed a few things. So leave a comment if you have anything to add, and if you agree or disagree with anything in particular. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing too. Your support would mean a lot. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.